Hi there, my name is Eric and I play bass and I figured I'd take a minute and do a small recap of the summer that has just, you know, flown by essentially. I start work again on Thursday, my wife started work again today and our daughter goes back to preschool on Monday. So it's, you know, back to the regular scheduled show, so to speak. And it's been a great summer in, in many ways. Uh, I've done quite a few gigs with different bands. Uh, yesterday, as I was doing dishes, it dawned on me that I haven't really played any of my own music, so to speak. I've been playing a lot of other people's music, uh, which is fine and a lot of fun. Uh, but it, it was a bit different compared to how things were pre-pandemic, if you will. Uh, I've uh, usually played music that I've been a part of writing uh, for the past couple of years. I mean, I've done cover gigs and stuff like that, but uh, this was the first summer in a quite a while that I haven't, you know, played any of my own music live, which was interesting. Uh, not a bad thing at all. It, it just dawned on me as I was, you know, scratching away on the plates, so to speak. So the summer started off with me sitting in with Sorcerer in Denmark. <laughs> Then we had Midsummer's Eve, uh, on in which I played, you know, traditional folk music, essentially. <laughs> then we had, let's see here, then we had the gig with Mist in uh, Lead Shipping. <laughs> Then I had a quick rehearsal with Frontback, actually, and then we had the Infinite Maiden gig. <laughs> then I did the Frontback gig. <laughs> And now, just this past weekend, I played a lot of uh, cover tunes at a wedding, which was a lot of fun as well. Uh, all of the gigs previous to the wedding gig were without any sorts of uh, sheets or papers or whatnot. It was just me uh, trying to learn all of the songs and keeping them in here, uh, which is pretty crammed with useless information. So it was it was good to fill it up with songs instead. Um, but yeah, it has been interesting to sit in with a lot of bands and, you know, to just essentially fly in and uh, be a part of an already uh, established group, so to speak, uh, and, you know, uh, try to fit in uh, both sonically as well as personality-wise. Um, I mean, all of my experiences with all of these bands have been amazing. Uh, all of the bands have been great to me, and I, I think that they've told the truth when they said that they've been satisfied with what I've brought to the table um, playing-wise, which is always a good thing. So when it comes to learning other people's songs for setting gigs, I've got a an approach that works for me, so I figured I'd share it with uh, you guys as well. Hopefully it can be helpful to someone out there. So the first thing that I do is that I try to uh, get the set list as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully the band has it already, you know, uh, nailed down, so to speak, and all of the songs are in the correct order and all of that. So I make a playlist on my iPhone and on Apple Music, and I go and listen to the songs in the correct order uh, as much as possible, you know, I, I go for a run and I listen to to the music just to get it into my system uh, and, you know, learn the songs in the correct order and I try to learn also, you know, the vocal melodies and, you know, where certain parts go, not just the bass lines. And then uh, once I've got that playlist down, I usually sit down and try to learn the songs bass playing wise as well. It is a bit of a different thing for me to learn the songs as a bass player compared to learning the songs, if you will, you know, knowing what happens and how the lyrics go and all of that. Uh, it's it's a different approach in my brain at least. So uh, 
I try to get both things done, you know, learn the songs as songs and know what the lyrics are and what the song is about and the bigger picture as well as that small um, component that is the bass line. I try to get both things into my system. Then uh, what I normally do is that I try to get the songs from the band so that I can put them into a logic session, uh, put them in the setlist order and then I run through the songs uh, as soon as possible and I loop parts that are harder or you know that I need to get down properly or have a hard time figuring out. I use the uh, uh, tempo shift function in Logic, which works pretty well when it comes to you know slowing things down so that you can really nail your parts or for that matter, figure stuff out uh, that you got a hard time hearing. So anyways, once I've got the set list done, I just run it over and over and over and uh, I try to do it as much as possible. Uh, separately from this, I also try to figure out which bass I'm going to use. I used my Yamaha Attitude Limited 3 for all these gigs, except for the one with Mist, uh, for which I used my Dingwall Combustion. I used that one for the wedding gig as well, because I needed the, the five string. Uh, it kind of suited the, the whole uh, wedding band vibe, so to speak, better. Um, and yeah, that's essentially my approach. You know, learn the songs, both as songs as well as bass lines if that makes any sense you know uh, you should be able to sing the, the song you know not just the bass line because nobody wants to hear the bass line you need to know the bigger picture of a song um, and yeah that has been working out pretty well for me this past summer and it's been it's been great it, it's been a lot of fun sitting in with um, all of these bands so anyways my name is eric and i play bass and it's been a great summer Hopefully, I'll get to do more gigs um, during the fall with both my own bands and uh, with uh, new bands as well. If you need a bass player, hit me up. I'm always in the game for learning new stuff. It's always fun. I love playing bass. And uh, yeah, quick summer recap. Hope you guys have had a great summer. Uh, I'll see you guys and gals and cats and dogs in the next video. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. All of that good stuff. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.